Hey YouTube, this is Leo with Mining Sumo, and in this video, I'll show you how to overclock your GTX 1660 Supers with Hynix memory and take them to a stable almost 32 mega hashes per second, 31.7. And as you can see, all of these are 31.7, 31.8, 31.7. All of these are Hynix memory. There is nine of them in this rig, and uh, basically, out of the box, they're at about 20 mega hashes. But in, I'll show you how to do this, make it stable and run at a very low power consumption of about 80 watts and very good uh, hash rate. As you can see, this rig has been up for five days with zero stale shares, zero uh, invalid shares. So the overclocks work, but I already made a video about this previously. And while the overwhelming response was positive, some people were still confused. Now, this did work for about 95% of the people, but some of them, some of you guys still had questions on how to do it. So, I'm making this video again. So, let's dive right into it, because in the first video it was a little bit confusing, because I started off showing you that normal overclocking of this GPU doesn't work. So, let's dive into it, and I'll show you exactly how to do it. Alright, guys. So, before I show you exactly how to overclock it, let's reset all these GPUs. Basically, this will put them in stock position. This is my batch file where all the overclocks are set to zero. So there's no overclock on the memory, there's no overclock on the core. And you can see that it's gonna go from 32 mega hashes per second, it's gonna drop to about 24, 20 in some cases. It's gonna be pretty low. All right, and uh, this batch file that I ran, the script, it's made for NVIDIA Inspector. I'm gonna link it in the description below, and that's the app we're going to use for overclocking because it lets you do batching instead of like doing one GPU at a time. We, and uh, when you do multiple GPUs, especially like over six, and when they're all different GPUs, you are much better off using NVIDIA Inspector versus uh, MSI Afterburner. Um, so as you can see, they all dropped to like 20 mega hashes per second, and we lost 100 mega hash on the rig. So it went from 285 to 187. <laughs> anyway, so just to confirm, Here's the NVIDIA inspector. All the overclocks are set to zero. We don't worry about the power right now. I'll show, I'll show you power later. Okay. And as you can see, these are all Hynix memory right here. Hynix memory. And uh, we can go through any of them. Hynix right there. Just randomly Hynix. Hynix. Okay. So now, let's... These numbers over here in the NVIDIA inspector. So GPU 1 here, GPU 0 here is GPU 1 in the miner. And you can change the miner where the first GPU will be set to 0. So it doesn't matter. Basically, it just starts with 0 in the NVIDIA inspector and it starts with 1 in my miner, which is uh, Phoenix miner. Anyway, that doesn't matter. So let's work on GPU number 1. It will go from 20.8 mega hashes to almost 32. So to do that, it's very simple. Your core clock. So memory, many people think that you need core. No, you do not. So we can set the core to minus 100. All right, the memory. Okay, this is where a lot of people get confused. Normally you overclock the memory and uh, if you go up a thousand, we're going to again gain a few mega hashes, but not enough to get to a uh, to 32 mega hashes. I'll just quickly show you. So this is going to start rising. It will go to about 24, 25 mega hashes and it will stop. All right, right there. So we're looking at GPU one. So we're going to track it. See, 23.58, 24. And it's not going to rise anymore, all right? So what you need to do on the core with Hynix memory, oh, on the memory, if you have Hynix, not Samsung, not Micron, this only works for Hynix, all right? You do memory minus 502 mega hashes, right? And we click apply. Now, again, the core minus 100 and the memory minus 502. And this is in Windows. You can see it's already rising to 26. It's going to jump 29. It's going to jump to 32 mega hashes per second. I know this for a fact. All right. So in, in Linux, you do minus 1004 because in Linux, you double the memory clocks for NVIDIA. I'm not sure about AMD. This is for NVIDIA. You double the memory clocks in Linux. In Windows, it's minus 502. In Linux, one minus 1004. Okay. So what happens here is that once you decrease the memory clock, it starts using a much more aggressive timings. 
So when you overclock it, the timings are slow, so you don't get that great boost. You only go to 24 mega hashes, whereas here you can see we're at 31 now. 31, almost 32, and that's where it's going to stay. And doing the memory overclock is not going to change anything. All right? Now, some of you will still not get 32. You will be stuck at about 24, 27, and that's a problem with power limit. So in this particular car, it can handle 59% power limit. But if you're below 32 meg or below 31 mega hashes per second and you have like 56 power limit, there's just not enough power. Okay, so let's run my, I'll show you my uh, batch file. This is my normal batch file. And as you can see, some power limits are actually at 70%, uh, 68%. So most of them are at 59% and they work fine. But two of my GPUs don't get enough juice at 59% and they're at lower, they run at lower clocks. So I have to boost the power on two of them to 70 and 68%. And I'll show you how it works. Okay, let's run this batch file. And we're going to overclock all of them. So now you can see they're all at 20.8. So let's run my normal batch file and they're all going to overclock. Or rather, underclock. <laughs> but the mega hashes per second will jump. You see they're already rising. And they're gonna jump to 31.75 across the board. 29, 28, they're going to reach. Okay, now they're at their normal performance. You see, we're 285.6, That's our standard for this rig. Almost 286, just a little bit shy, and uh, we really can't push it anymore. Because the memory is what drives the hash rate on Ethereum, and we cannot do anymore on the memory, because if we go to 501, it's gonna drop to like 24 mega hashes. Anyway, so... Again, the power limit. Now, let's look at this batch file again, and I'll demonstrate it for you. So, GPU number 3 and GPU number 7. Let's set them to 59% power limit. So, number 3. Let's set it to 59%. Come on. Apply. And same for number 7. 59, apply, and you will see that the hash rate on them will drop. See, now it's, well, the 3 in the my, in the overclocking utility is number 4 here. See, it's 25 mega hashes, and number 8 is 29 mega hashes, and they're going to stay lower than, than expected. You see, 28.7, so they're not going to be at 32. Again, if that is the case, what you do, so number 3 here is actually a more... Uh, you can see the difference better because right now it's a 22, 23 mega hashes per second. So let's bump it up to like 65 and we'll go to about 27, 28. Okay, we we'll click apply. Let's see what happens. So see, it's already rising, but it's not going to reach 32 mega hashes. It's going to get stuck at 27, give or take. So if you can, basically, if you cannot reach your 31 point something mega hashes, and you're at low power limit, just raise it a little bit, 1% at a time, 2% at a time, until you are stable. Okay, so for example, if we go 75, it's going to jump straight to 31 mega hash, but then we're using too much power, and you don't want that. So you will want to like take it down 1% at a time, until you're at your target mega hash rate, but, and it's not dropping, but your power is as little as possible. See, we're at 92 watts compared to 77 watts, on GPU number 5. So that's a big difference. Alright? Our mega hash rate is good, but our power consumption is a little bit high. So what you do is you take it down slowly a couple percent at a time, and you watch it. It's not dropping mega hash rate, you can take another percent or two off of it. So let's do 2%. I know it's 70 because I I did the testing already. As you can see, it's been running stable for for many days, and if I didn't shut it off for Shabbos every week for Saturday, Friday to Saturday, Sabbath, it would be running stable for weeks and months. But I, ha I have to shut it down on every Sabbath, so that's why you see only five days straight. But you know, zero stales and zero rejected shares. So it's running very stable at very low power. It's using, uh, I'm not even sure what it's using, about 800 watts. <laughs> All right, so at 70, we're good. 
Let's take it down to 69. And you'll see the mega hash will start dropping just a little bit over here. But it's not going to be full 31.7. Come on. C31.6. And it's going to drop another like few marginal points. So we don't want that. We want it optimal. So we're going to make it at 70. We're going to put it at 70. Come on. All right. So basically, yeah. You do minus 502 on the memory. Not core clock, not the GPU itself, the memory. And that's only if you have Hynix. You can do minus 100 on the core. It doesn't really matter. You can do more than that. And then if you don't reach this target of about 31, 32 mega hashes, just bump your power limit a little bit. I'm going to run my batch file. So my batch file controls every single GPU. And I'm going to provide this batch file in the description for the video so you can do it, as well as link to NVIDIA Inspector. Alright guys, this is how you overclock your 1660 Super. Let me run. And I believe the 1660 Ti will be just the same. Now, 1660 regular, I believe, is using GTX... I mean, uh, VDDR5, not VDDR6. So... I'm not sure what the overclocks are going to be on that, but... This one is using GDDR6, not VDDR, like video DDR, <laughs> uh, graphics DDR6 memory. And so this will work for Super NTI, if you have Hynix memory. All these cards are supers. All right, guys, thank you for watching. This was Leo once again with Mining Sumo. And if you like this video, please click the like button. All right, I know a lot of you will like it and will help a lot of you. If you read my comments, See how many people, for how many people it worked. Went from 20 to 30. Because I'm a lifesaver. Well, not a lifesaver, I'm just trying to help you out. But if this works for you, click that like button. Please share this video on YouTube, on uh, on Reddit, on Twitter, on Facebook, anywhere you can share, let other people know, this will help me, and this is how you guys can, you know, say thank you to me, for real, instead of just saying thank you in the comment, share my videos if you, if, if it helped you, and of course like it, of course let me know how it worked out for you, if you're super generous, <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna put my, uh, my Ether wallet, maybe you want to donate a little bit, but you don't have to, just share my video, you know, if you do donate, much appreciated, uh, you're a super boss, but if you don't, just share my video, click the like button, and good luck with mining. Mine as much Ethereum as you can before 1559. I'm actually going to make a video about it. There has been a lot said about it, but I want to look at it from a different point of view, like from a user's point of view, as well as a miner, and look at what's going on with the uh, April 1st move to uh, ethermine.org, uh, Red Panda Mining, and then BBT, uh, his reaction, because he was kind of dragged into all this... Uh, April 1st thing. So anyway, that's a whole different topic. As far as 1660 supers, very easy to overclock and get maximum efficiency out of them. These are super, I, I really like these GPUs. They run very efficiently. This whole rig is using like 780 watts of power. Okay guys, I'll see you in the next video.